Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, and today I'm back for episode number 42 of my Brooklyn Nets My League series here on NBA 2K16. So we are moving on to the second round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Take a look at how the team did in the first round where we did defeat the Atlanta Hawks in four games. We swept them thanks to that come from behind game four victory. We're taking on the Charlotte Hornets this round. They entered the playoffs as the number four seed, and we are taking them on in a 1-4 matchup in the second round. So you can see they had six guys average double figures in the regular season. Those were the regular season stats, not the postseason. Now checking out the simulation up to the first elimination game, and we go up 3-1. to one. So second straight series where we really take control early on, and uh, now we've got a nice 3-1 series lead. So we've got a good cushion here as we get ready for the first uh, actual human game or user game of this series. Taking a look at the starting lineups, now getting into the gameplay down 4-2 to two early here, but it is going to be Bledsoe finding Miles from behind the line, and Miles knocks down that three from the corner there, pinging it five to four. Brooklyn on top now. And it is Kylo Quinn finding Nicholas Batum coming around a screen from behind the line, and Batum answers back with a three of his own. So it's a back and forth game early on here. Nine seven lead for Charlotte. Big block on one end of the floor right there by Porzingis. Now it's Miles feeding the big man, and it's going to be Lopez, but finishing that one off with the one handed slam. Now O'Quinn swinging the ball over to Otto Porter, trying to make a move off the dribble here. Gets around CJ McCollum and makes the tough contact layup there over Jarnell Stokes. So Charlotte's still in control here early on. Now they're up five, and it's a rebound for Porter. He's going to take a couple dribbles now, give this one off to George Hill, writing it down the right side of the court. Now gives it over to Dragon Bender, over to George Hill from behind the line, and Hill's going to knock down that three in the final few seconds of the first quarter there. So it would be a six-point lead early in the second. Brooklyn back with the ball. It's Porzingis off the dribble. Nice little crossover and one. Bucking in the foul. Batum was a guilty, or was the guilty party, I should say. Now a pick and pop. Pump fake action. Porzingis trying to make a move. Dishes it off to the wide open Brook Lopez. Left all alone into the basket. A defensive miscommunication there of some sort by Charlotte. Now it's Lopez getting to the basket off the dribble move. You can see his man try to go for the steal there on the pass to the post there. But he couldn't come up with it. Now it's Miles running on the break off of the rebound. Out. He is going to lob this one up, and it's Iguodala with the two-handed slam. So Iggy putting Brooklyn on top, but it is George Hill back with it now. And he's going to find Miritich wide open for the mid-range jumper. And that one is good. Miritich has been killing us. Every time we played him this season, he has had a pretty big game. We've had trouble covering stretch fours. Really, it is a tough thing to cover in 2K, um, whether you run up against a human or a CPU. But there we go. Jarnell Stokes, nice offensive rebound. Charlotte back in the lead, though. They're up by one, and it's going to be Harrison Barnes from the corner. His three is good, and that would give us our halftime score. 45 to 41 is the uh, score at the moment as we head into the break here. Charlotte on top by four. Pretty even field goal attempts so far, so not a big turnover discrepancy. And you can see not... Not a lot of three-point shooting from either side so far, but it's Miles with it now finding Chandler Parsons. He's going to put his foot on the line there, and that would actually be an and one. Porzingis will draw the loose ball foul. So now we're down by one, though. It's 47-46, and it's a big steal. It is Tilikina running up the court with the right-handed layup, and that puts Charlotte up by three. And now uh, early still in this third quarter, it's O'Quinn swinging it over to Tilikina, who's going to isolate himself on Bledsoe. Just fades away, and that shot clock cheese right there giving a Charlotte now a six-point lead. It's Iguodala up the court, though, to Miles. Miles going to make the extra pass to Patty Mills. Left-handed layup is good as Patty Mills continuing to provide a good punch off the bench here for the second unit. He's got four points so far tonight, but it is going to be Dragon Bender left open by Sim Bular, and Bender hits the three, so it's back to six now for Charlotte. Porzingis trying to do something in the post, not really backing down his man, but it's going to hit the fadeaway nonetheless, keeping the gap at four now. It's a two-point game, but it's George Hill back with it, swinging it along the perimeter to Miritich, and Miritich from behind the line, getting the three to go, putting Charlotte back up by five. Now still a five-point game early in the fourth, 74 to 69. It is Bledsoe from behind the line, a three-pointer of his own, getting the lead back to two, but now it's Charlotte back up by five as it's Stokes grabbing a defensive board up the court to McCollum, lobbing this one up to Parsons. So Parsons keeps it at three now with about five and a half to play. It's a one-point game to Leakey now, though, with the ball, finding Miritich. Miritich again. Yes, sir. He gets it to go from the top of the key. Another shot from behind the arc there. Miles misses a dunk, but Porzingis gets the offensive rebound. Bledsoe, another big three. And Bledsoe has been so clutch all season long, becoming a trend as of late, hitting a big threes late in games. But here we go. Now it is Miles getting the ball up the court to Porzingis. Bit of a risky pass there, but Porzingis slams it down and puts us up one. Now still to one point lead, 90 seconds to play. Talikina getting loose into the paint, and Lopez tried to swat it, but instead he gets called for goaltending. Then here we try to bring the ball up the court, but turn it over to Talikina with it down low to his man right there for the easy lay-in. That was J.R. Smith putting Charlotte up three. So late in the fourth now, we need a three. Parsons try to get a three there with him, but he takes the long two instead and misses. Now to Likina with the pass down low to Nick Batum 
for the easy lane, and that would pretty much ice things. Porzingis is going to get a quick three off here. That would get it to a three-point game. Then Charlotte would go down and make two free throws. Porzingis, another three, and he would make this. So he actually gets it to a two-point game at 3.2 seconds to play. And then Parsons gets the steal on the inbound half-court shot for the win, and it is just off the mark. So we made things a little interesting there at the end, but the all-in-all -all Charlotte is going to come out on top. They were definitely the better team here tonight. Really, we're in control of the game for most, as you can see, Coach Andre Miller there uh, trying to lead his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. But really, they were in control for most of the game. Um, they did outshoot us, even though we did actually take eight more field goals than they did. Uh, we did still have one more turnover, and uh, we out-rebounded them. But overall, I just thought that Charlotte was in control for most of the game. We really struggled uh, covering them down the stretch. We could not get the stops we needed, uh, except there at the end when we had the steal from uh, Parsons there. But either way, you can see Taliki now 15 and 10, and then Miritich with 22 points. That is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Kevin, and here's thank the 2K you. So why show. don't we take a look now at our Jordan Player of the Game? And Shaq, I can tell if you want to say something. Your comments? Clutch, 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 Ernie. In a must-win game like this when you're on the road, you got to have a guy that can come through, or you do not have a chance. He was the answer for them when it counted. Big time game. He shot over 50% from the field in the game, a testament to how hard he worked to always find the best look possible. He was in constant motion. He found those gaps in the D and made the most of his open looks. And that'll signal the end of our NBA postseason coverage of round two for tonight. More round two action yet to come. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying, good night, everybody.